Hey all you camo junkies out there, I'm back again, and guess what, got another package. This one came from uh, South Africa, and uh, I got it I got it a week or so ago, but I thought I made a video about it, but I must have erased it when I erased a bunch of stuff after we went riding four wheelers and stuff a couple weeks ago. But anyway, I'll make a new one. This video is about uh, the World Camo Collection. Um, and as you can see, I have a lot of examples behind me. But I, the French Lizard, I've always loved the Lizard patterns. And, uh, you know, they're getting scarcer and scarcer. Of course, you can get reproductions from, like, Tried Military and stuff like that. And EOTech uh, makes them, there's some in Sportsman's Guide. And it's good stuff. But I, I want the original stuff from, like... Angola and the Congo and I got this jacket that's in here and it was it was used by the uh, recce forces in Mozambique and the border war in Angola and uh, let's check it out now it was uh, battle damaged <clears throat> and they turned a long sleeve shirt into a short sleeve shirt it's got double cuff and it was a field field made you know repair great pattern I always love the lizard pattern reminds me of Tiger, American Tiger Stripe but it came out way before her hearts did <clears throat> this one is a two pocket size 38 would be an officer's um, you know like kind of a dress not really going out but like it's got the epaulets and as you can see one of the pockets have been ripped off I didn't really notice it and uh, I wore it around and nobody really noticed that it was gone <clears throat> it does fit me it is a size 38 it's a little tight but this is a uh, real heavy cotton material and you can see that the the brown in it is a is the redder of the of the uh, tones. Here's a set from. This is a set of pants that I got out of Korea. And these aren't paratrooper pants, but they're lizard pants just the same. And they have no bellowed side pockets. They only have two rear pockets with no button flaps, and two front slash pockets. But this is, you know, what the common lizard pattern looks like that most people know about. This this pattern right here. And it's all basically the same pattern, just different colorations for different areas. I guess this would be better in the Congo or whatever. That's where it was used. Or actually it was used in, you know, South Africa. And it's a great, great piece of kit. I'll just throw it in a collection. But I'll show you some differences about the uh, patterns now. Because I have the one in the corner over here is Namibian lizard. Uh, the one in the center, uh, the darker one right there, with the, it's a gray lizard. It's Cuban. That was a battlefield pickup. Uh, this is the, the modern. The center here is the modern uh, from the 80s and 90s. French lizard, and that's a paratrooper set. I'll show you that in a minute. And then the jacket here is from the the 60s, and it's a paratrooper jacket. It's herringbone twill, real heavy, heavy cotton herringbone, and it's lined, and it has the the jump diaper in it. And then there's the Greek lizard on the corner over there, which is kind of blended in real good. That's modern Greek lizard. They they love the lizard pattern too, and the the Greek. Uh, I guess it's like a militia or something. I, I watched some stuff on YouTube about these guys. They had a parade. And it was, you know, common Joes on the street that had all their gear. And they were doing a uh, some kind of parade. But they weren't, I don't think they were truly professional soldiers. But they might have been like a National Guard or something. And they just keep their stuff at their house. And if they're ever caught up, they put their kid on and go. But uh, I'll show you some other things here in a minute. Let me get you off the tripod. 
Actually, I'll bring the fatigues over here. Drop the power helmet. This is a very heavy example of the French Lizard jump jacket. And people say, well, what's, what is a diaper? Uh, you, know, you hear me call about jackets that have diapers in them. Diaper is this piece right here. <clears throat> and I don't know who invented it, but I knew the Germans in World War II had uh, separate legs on their jump schmocks so they could button them up so their jackets wouldn't fly up when they jumped out of the plane. This one actually goes under your crotch and then buttons here in the front of your crotch right here pulls up and buttons so when you jump out of the plane your jacket doesn't rise up on you and catch air it's very effective it works really well as you can see this jacket's completely lined it's got the big pocket here in the rear the whole back panel of the jacket is a pocket it wouldn't be practical for putting anything but like maybe your papers or your maps or whatever in but this is a complete jacket I bought this out of uh, South Korea off eBay believe it or not it's got the heavy brass zipper and button over and it has very 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 tight cuffs for your sleeves so your wind doesn't go up in there and this is herringbone material I don't know if you can really see it but the herringbone material is like a, a weave it's a special weave and it's like almost airtight so this one is a pristine brand new jump jump schmock for probably the legionnaires or the french paras and it's old style it has single buttons the newer style had either two buttons or two snaps the modern ones have uh, snap closures like this one on the pockets and zippers so none of your stuff flies out I guess they lost some stuff over the years but it has epaulets very tight collar that buttons completely up to your neck feels like it's choking you when you're wearing it but that is a good example of 1960s French lizard and this one's like you can see the colorations are just a little different patterns basically the same but it gets a little redder over the years now of course this one's brand new this has never been issued this one of course has been battle worn so it's awesome fine these were also issued these were you know actually used they, these are not new and uh, I really loved it I scored this jacket I was like wow because I've never seen one this old with the buttons most of the newer ones have the snaps so I know this is old just by that and I did the burn test on it to make sure that the, the, the threads are post 1970s or, or pre 1970s you can tell because older material um, used before they invented nylon thread or that if you notice if you're in the military or whatever and you burn the snakes off your uniforms it always would burn up and it'd be a little blob of shit there well older stuff like this and this and this and that shirt when the threads burn it burns to ash not and then it just disintegrates kind of that's how you can really tell it's, if it's authentic over its age. So that's the French, this is the 60s para jacket. And this set is a 1990s. Actually, Jean-Claude Van Damme in the movie Lionheart was wearing the same exact uniform in the very beginning of the movie when he escapes from the camp or whatever and, and comes to the states to try to rescue his sister or whatever the hell it is and as you can see that's real red too and this is a pair of set of pants modern because as you can see snap closures on the rear pockets triple snap closures on the front V uh, you know your front pockets and then of course a button fly and your loops for your belt and then it has the European style pull tabs to cinch the waist in and as you can see these are brand new as the tag the makers 
and these are brand new I, I bought these from a vendor off of eBay my friend bought them but they didn't fit them so he gave them to me and as you can see it has the, the modern bellow pockets that that expand and this is a brand new pair brand new never been never been issued never been worn and I bought I bought the jacket here about seven years ago and didn't know where I was going to find the pants because nobody seemed to find the pants hence eBay <laughs> love that place so there's the this is the 80s and 90s French lizard pattern and you can see it's got the vertical pockets with the zippers two snap closures and this is just a button-up jacket and it doesn't have the real tight collar like the the older one but it does have the epaulets on the side no reinforcements on the elbows or nothing I guess uh, you know saving the material and there's no reinforced seat on the pants and there's no reinforced uh, knees or nothing so that's the 80s and 90s French lizard and then we have this is really really weird this is a Cuban lizard pattern looks very dark you see it's all torn up it got cut and rips all in it but it was a battlefield pickup and this was made in Korea for the Cuban Russian uh, insurgents or whatever they were that were fighting on the uh, forces against the South African government forces so and it, you know it's got the cinch on the bottom of the the, the waist the two button you know two two jacket pocket and it has the epaulets and there's the tag it says made in Korea it says uh, something 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 and then it says uh, algo dot au it's a size 42 and it, like you said it's got holes and stuff in it everywhere but this is the real real McCoy I guess a swapo terrorist or something more of this you see it's got field repairs on it because the they, they would use anything they could get their hands on and it has the South African style cuffs on them that wrap around and make you know you can make them tighter it can go over to here and make it real tight or it can be here and just kind of flop around but that's a a rare piece the Koreans making stuff for the Cubans that's wild and then this is the Namibian lizard pattern that's that's modern this is uh, let's see 1992 now this kind of closely resembles this one here I want to show you which is the lizard pattern from 1954 this is actually a Zelpon, a, a shelter quarter as you can see it's just like a German Zelpon, it's tri triangular you put a bunch of them together and make a tent you put your head through here of course you know and you can you can button it up just like you do a German Zelpon. Now this one, I'll show you some some of the tagging. This one here is dated on the corner where I just had it. Nope, not that corner. Not that corner. Oh, this corner. see that it says a r m e e has some codes some letters three seven h and a four it's got a date here it says six eleven fifty four and then jp corton and santez now i have this hat <clears throat> which is the rarest of the rare it's a dovetail hat a bowler guard hat or something like that the guy invented this thing this is the 4753 print and this one is dated <clears throat> same way as the army 1952 with the SF4 has the 1222 52 with the code A1 and 4 and then here is the maker which is uh S.I.J. Jules Les Torres. So, this is 
probably the rarest hat you're ever going to find in French Lizard pattern. And this one's brand new, never issued. Very rare, and very tough to find. And my ponytail sits right in the middle of that when I wear it. Works real nice. So, uh, oh, and I also have this hat, <clears throat> which is, some people say is the ugliest hat ever made. But as you can see, the, the brown in there is a very red tone as well. It's a short brim. It's got uh, extra stitching inside for padding. Kind of gives it a little cushion on the top. But it has no tags or nothing. It's, it's just uh, a rare piece. So I have a complete set now. And then there's also some Portuguese. Uh, they, they consider that like a lizard pattern too. And I'm waiting for a four pocket bush jacket. This is a modern version of the Portuguese. There is a, the same shirt, but it's older. You see the belt, uh, scallop pockets and whatnot. <clears throat> this is an older one. The tag's up here. And it says some stuff in Portuguese. And then these are the real rare bird. Portuguese pants. I bought this set from South Africa. From Durban. And the guy sent me 16 pages of information about this guy's unit. He was a chopper pilot. And uh, these are really, really rare. These pants. They're Usually the pants were worn beyond belief. And uh... It's neat they, how they cover their buttons up. Because there's a button under there. See? And then they put, you just button it up and it covers your buttons up. And so I'm waiting for a bush jacket to come that I bought from South Africa. It's the only other, I've only seen one of them in my whole life. And it fits me. And it's in good shape. The lady said it's from 1967. These pants are from 1969. That jack, this shirt is, this shirt's from 1969, this one here. It was the actual pilots. Well, as I was saying, I have a, uh, I got a Portuguese boonie hat as well. And this was never issued. It's a little small, it needs to be stone washed and the shit kicked out of it before it'll fit me real good. 57 or 58 but it's a little different coloration but it's the same pattern so there are all these different French lizard patterns if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to you know let me know what's going on and uh, or if you have any input as to like some of this stuff's usage like I said, I have two of these Zelf Bonds, and I will. I was thinking about cutting them apart and uh, having a uniform made out of this because I personally have never seen any French Lizard pattern uniforms in this coloration. Only in this, the greener, and this, which is the earlier 40, 4753 pattern, different colors. This was used a lot in South Africa, a lot. Uh, the Congo <clears throat> and uh, so there is and this is like I said this is the new Greek lizard pattern it's modern and uh, I got that from Sportsman's Guide too there's a Rhodesian and South African police and then these are Botswana uh, police uh, camouflage modern 1990s 2000 so, there they are. All those different patterns of lizard. Wow. Crazy, isn't it? Same way with Tiger Stripe. You know, Tiger Stripe has a million different variants and a bunch of different makers. I give a shout out to my boy here, Terry, that owns Layman's Gun, so gun Store. He's the one I just purchased my uh, Uzi from. I'm waiting on the paperwork and whatnot. I'm still paying on it too. It's expensive, but anyway, God bless and keep watching.